All right, let's go and get started. Howdy, howdy, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Shark and Bear, and welcome to the channel where today we're working on part two of our Erratic Stronghold Guide for Hard Mode. Now, again, this is not a guide for 100%ing the area. This is more or less just our guide of what it looks like to get through Hard Mode. Um, uh, yeah, so we already did the the west side. That's what I'm going to call this, the west side of the map, essentially. Um, but, uh... West of the entrance, more or less. The left path. And uh, now we're going to try to get ourselves to the right path. So uh, we went to the library that's just over there where Sir Gideon is at. Uh, we opened the gate over there. And then we hit the resonance bell and open up the ladder right there. Shortcut-wise, it's out of order how we did them, but that is what we did. And uh, now we're just going to come over here to the left side, of course. And we are going to cut into here to the right. And this is going to be our path to go... I don't actually know what that is down there. Oh, there's two of those guys. There's three of those guys. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. We're going to die. I want it. Is there a way to get down there without being stunned? All right, so we did that. And now we're gonna go up this ladder. I don't even know what I picked up. What did I pick up? Finely crafted dentures. Perhaps these belong to someone here in Radix Stronghold. Oh, this is for uh, our uh, blacksmith lady. Okay, so we definitely need those if you want to have the blacksmith. Okay, that makes more sense. So now with the bridge, we have these two walkers right here. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh God! Hello. They they brought out the welcome wagon for me. Luckily for us, we didn't care about their welcome wagon. Let's go ahead and uh, run after this dog real quick. I want to get him before he gets to the other side. It's not a dog. It's a ghoul. I'm sure someone's going to say something about that. But it's whatever. He tried to disappear on me. Oh, he did disappear on me. And now he did. Gotta take this one out. Alright. That guy's glitching out of the wall over there. I gotta sneeze. Man, that was a pretty big sneeze. Alright, so we got two dogs here. We do gotta be careful. Uh, let's see if we can draw one out and then the other. If we can do one and then the other, we'll be fine. Oh, he's doing a thing. Alright, he's dead. Let's so we can do this one to the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and dodge through this one whenever we get a chance to. There we go. That is a dead doggo. And now we have this guy. Luckily, we're almost to another point where we can make another shortcut to get here. We just take out this guy. Which is fairly easy to do. He's going to shield up on us, so we'll just do that. Which isn't what I wanted to do at all, but we still did it. Should be one or two guys jumping off the wall here. Where's he at? Oh god, that that side over there is definitely more muscled up than it used to be. That guy's throwing a lot of explosives over there. Could you could you not? Alright, so those guys are dead. 
And in turn, what we shall do is go ahead and open up a shortcut so we don't ever have to fight. Uh, well, we'll fight those two guys again every time we come up here. But uh, the as far as the Hashari, they're going to be our way to the shortcut, unfortunately. We'll go ahead and activate this. And now there's our resonance bell. Anytime when we we'll go upstairs, we just hit this one. We'll come up this side. That way we don't have to go up, down up the left side and then down on the right. Or instead of, you know, and across the bridge when we get here. We can go up the right and that's it. Hmm. Oh, that guy sees us. Really? That was a weird aggro radius room. Will he come closer? Go ahead and pick up that room. So we can drag it. Okay, so we can drag that guy over here too. Honestly, this enemy, uh, this side could be a little weirder because of the enemy density and stuff. See if we can pull this other shield dude first. Who gets pulled? Yeah, he gets pulled first. There we go. Oh, I forgot the thing comes back. Well, we got another bomb thrower. Now, I don't know what else has changed on this side, so we'll just be fairly cautious. We don't need any scripture, but I'll go ahead and pick up one of anyways. And I assumed a boulder was going to coming down that side. Any other boulders? No, but we do have Fashari here. Oh, shit. I'm gonna go ahead and dash over here and ring my bells. So those guys are down. Uh, that's definitely a problematic area. There's, I wasn't expecting Hishari to be up here. We gotta be careful about these guys. They suck. Looks like we aggroed some not more over there. All right, I don't see. Can we get him to go? I see two more small fry. Oh shit. I don't want to have the tracking on map hacks. Alright, that's all for them. Don't think there's any more that I see. We have another aura moment. Alright, and then we have a dude right here. Throwing bombs. And I do remember there being someone we had a fight here. But there's no one here. So maybe I'm doing some things out of order. I seem to remember thinking there being a person in this cage. 
Maybe that's later. I'm not looking forward to fighting that Hashari. I believe there's an axe dude over there. On the other side of the bridge. Where he's facing. <laughs> oh, that thing is looking directly at me, too. I'm trying to see if we can get a bead on what's on that bridge. There's another uh, shortcut bridge over there. Let's see if we can get this guy over here. I'm going to run this way. Can we get this bridge running? All right, here's another shortcut directly to the pool where we put the levers. Well, that's good because that means we don't have to go through all those Hishari anymore. But we do have a dude here blocking the bridge. That's going to be problematic. There's also some Hashari over there. And I don't have anything to block this guy with. could just leave him. I'm afraid of what he'll do, though. I rolled away from that. Whatever. Nice. Okay. I wasn't, I think it may have actually messed up there and there's a good chance that I was going to die from that. If you actually got that charge off successfully. What other fun enemies did they put in my way here? So there's where we want to go directly below us. As a matter of fact, there's the thing from our dreams. I actually see another resonance bell down there. I don't know why those bombs are going off. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. <clears throat> I also never understood why they were facing that way either. There we go for that guy. And this is where things could be tricky. You go back down that way, please. We got a couple of bomb throwers here. Let them do their thing. There's one. Oh. That was a fake out if ever I saw one. There we go. 
And we're almost at another shortcut, honestly. I'm going to stay on this side uh, of the wall. Like, on this side of the hallway, essentially. Because I'm afraid of... I was getting caught in some charge attacks. While men jump off the walls all willy and nilly. There we go. I want to say there's also another quest later on for inspecting all these ferrum in the wall. It's very possible we've already passed that quest. Damn. Where'd that guy come from? Well, that doesn't do a lot of fire damage at all. That just that just felt nice. All that bleed over there. That that thing's gotta have some sort of heat seeking on it. I don't think there's a real reason for us to come down here. I, I think this might be a gear item. What is this? Oh, metal. Talisman of Divine Sense. Oh, well, alright then. Looks like we got ourselves a metal for coming over here. All right, and I think the last piece we need of the levers is actually going to be over here. Now, it is important to note there is a platforming thing. Should you be brave enough to do so, I am not. Uh, there is uh, money all the way over there. Lots of money. Um, I've never done it. I'm never going to try to do it. It doesn't seem worth it to me. I get enough money in hard mode to not have to worry about money. Um, but before we go over where that big guy with the axe is at, we're going to opt to kill this thing that has, uh, wait till its back is turned on us. Because I'd very much not like to draw aggro from all these enemies. I'm assuming it will turn its back to us, but we'll have to see about that. Wait a minute, can we get it from here? Cool, we can get it from here. I'm going to try to drag this archer over here. If we can. Alright, and then I will take out this archer. And I know there's an item over there, but I think an, I, a monster comes up the cliff if you draw that aggro. We'll just do this one at a time, and then we'll open this face, uh, this fence up first before we even attempt uh, to open that thing. There we go. Uh, somehow we got hit by that. Whatever. He still got stunned. We'll open the gate. And you can see the first big axe guy we ever came across... And that little thorny path over there leads to the library. See, there's an enemy over here. I swear I think there is. There is. I do love the vantage points in this area. It's probably one of my favorite as far as vantage points go. 
So now that we've done all of this, I feel like maybe we could potentially get the item over there. I am not going to fight them. I just want to get the item that's over there behind them, and then we'll be on our merry way. Let's see if we can do that much. All right, so that guy's gone. Doesn't look like he wants to come any closer. He saw what happened to his friend. All right, we got that right there. So we can get this glint over here. I have a hundred thousand glint in your possession. Nice. Oh, he tried to trick us. Oh, that hit hard. It's actually not too bad. Well, he had to know that didn't work out for a while for him, but maybe that was all part of his ruse. All right, he's dead. That was actually probably the easier fight with one of those guys. Now, I don't really want to fight the axe guy. I don't think we have to. If we play our cards right, we can just fight the guys at the bottom of the stairs to the left and call it a draw. Call it the draw, guys. There we go. See, they took a nap. They forgot all about it. Now we can go give the lady her dentures, and she will be our best friend. You're welcome. Right. Before the. I suppose. You and Knight, I believe, when you find them. Ah, okay. So she's the one who wants us to fight in the theorem. Right? Yeah, okay. She wants us to find the theorem in the wall, and she gave us a testament bell. Do we actually get more than... It doesn't look like you can have more than 11. Let's go ahead and put our artifacts in. There's a Bolsarian bind room. And here is our worn cutlass dagger that we just got. <clears throat> you can hear the guys wailing on us from behind. <laughs> All right, and then they get dropped. And I believe we are just that much closer to the bosses of this area. I want to say this takes us into an entirely different area. We saw a... We saw a, uh, a bell earlier. I can't remember how many enemies are in here. But I am going to take this very, very... So the floor drops out somewhere. The floor drops out. I bet you it drops out right there where we're about to walk in. Okay. There's a whole bunch of enemies over there. Oh, this is the boss room. These are the bosses. Okay. So, no floor dropping. I thought for some reason there was an area where the floor drops up from below you. And I did see another residence bell. So, it makes me kind of curious. Let's 
Uh, I have no firm belief that I will win this. I have half a health bar. I have no bells. Let's do it anyways. Now, there is an achievement for this, um, I believe. And that is for killing both these guys within um, five seconds of each other. I don't think I'm, it's going to happen. I don't think these guys were, like, super difficult by any stretch. Mostly because I, I have no idea what these guys do. I forgot what they did. So we just lost uh, 111,000 rooms from right there. But we got the trophy for getting uh, 100,000 runes, so that's nice. All right, this is attempt number four. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got that stun off. Get away from this. He should be going into a state where his brother's called in. Arrows. Oh shit, okay. Wanna go ahead and make sure we ring a ding a ding a bell. We are actually doing not terrible, but now we'll come in the worst part. Oh, we'll make it work away from that. Oh, I don't want him to die. I need to work on the shield, brother. Unfortunately, I don't think we're going to make the shield, brother. Oh, no, we just getting them hard. Okay, so that was fourth attempt. Unfortunately, we weren't able to down them at the same time uh, because our dots were just way too strong. But I didn't want to struggle too hard from that one. But luckily, you know, success four times, and that was all it took for us to get him down. All right, so we'll head this way. I don't believe, maybe, maybe there's something else going on back here. Knight, something is wrong. There's a novice. I can hear him pounding. All right, so we're gonna get in here. We gotta get this elixir. All of the doubts, all of the unanswered. And so this guy is going to be a bad guy. Yeah, basically you drink corruption. Giving the elixir to Lawrence would only seal his fate. Then we're in the same position. All right, so we collect the the elixir. And I want to say there's actually something we do to this elixir to make it worthwhile. We should get back to Lawrence quickly. Once we're in Starspire, we can add. Yep, that was it. The flare to the elixir, and that's what works. And now we have both uh, pieces of that sigil, which is nice. There is one other thing we're missing, though. I'm trying for the life of me to remember how to get it. I didn't get that achievement before, but it's for the um, vasculature that we got. 
we saw where we needed to go, but I guess I've never been there. I'm going to check out this elevator to the uh, right of us as soon as we get out of here. Um, because I want to see if there's a way that we can view how to get to the bottom of that pit. Because that is where we need to go. So, I clearly saw the area. It's required for us to go somewhere on the other side of this wall. But we got that axe guy at the top. I'm going to see if there's a possible viewport for where you can see where it is at. I might be willing to fight this guy again just so I could get a better look of it. So he's dead. And somehow we only attack, took one hit. I know we can go down over there to the right. Okay, so we need to get down there somehow. And I see the bell. I wonder if there's another boat dock over there. I think that's a grain wake location. I think that's exactly what that is. Uh, time to go back to our boat. I want to go around the outside for a second. I want to see if there is another entrance to Radic Stronghold. I will be right back with you because I'm going to skip ahead just so we're making up some time here. Actually, you know what? No, I won't cut away. In case anybody else needs to see where this is at. I'll only cut away if there's nothing to show for it. So, we need to go to the back of Radic Stronghold, which would be to our left right here. So hopefully there's another place where we can throw a set of thorns. Matter of fact, there is. There's something right here. And there is another bell right there. Let me reverse for a second. Okay, so we got another bell. Let's go ahead and hit it and reset, just so we have this location. And I have no idea what the enemy density looks like is because I don't think I've ever been over here. Thought I saw an enemy. Ah, yeah, okay, we do. We have an enemy. It's one of the big axe dudes. Okay, just do your thing. Hit the ro hit, hit. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, his axe hits a lot farther than I thought. Oh shit. He tried to trick us.
He did it again. There you go. And there we go. So, do we offer it to the statue? The sepulcher is drenched in shadow. At its base is a circular emblem of severed skull. Okay, well, we had a dream of this. It's got to be something we do here. Okay, and we're back at Star Spire. So, uh, I jumped away from there as opposed to picking up where we left off, which was in that back family burial ground area of Radic Stronghold, because I ended up looking at the discussion forum boards to basically see if anybody else had figured out uh, why it wasn't doing anything. Plus, I realized the flowering vasculature that I had in my inventory was no longer there. I wanted to know why it disappeared. Uh, well, apparently the reason for that being is the fact that um, apparently that is a way to make the boss of Radix Stronghold easier. The thing is how we've already beaten the boss. It, uh, you know, is gone because of the fact that it's pretty much used up its point. Uh, I bet, I guess if we had it interacted with the flowering vasculature and actually read what it did, it seemed as though the, the devs were trying to work their best on making it more apparent that that's what happens. But you basically offer the flowering vas vasculature at the feet of that statue, and somehow that makes the boss easier. Um, so that's what that does. It means that's something I'm going to have to achieve on a different playthrough. Maybe I can do that one and beat both bosses at the same time to get that achievement. Uh, but we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Uh, with the second half of Radix Stronghold completed, uh, I can go ahead and give um, Sir Lawrence the potion as well as form the medallion uh, or the sigil that we created. Uh, we got one part from the Flare Forge and one part from the Radix Stronghold, so we can go ahead and do that while we're t uh, finishing the conversation. So, in the next episode, I believe after this happens, we then get access to two locations story wise, which is the uh, the Hashari area and Ishalar. I believe we get uh, to choose which ones we go to next. Those are basically the last two heavy in-game dungeons. Um, yeah, and Mentes basically is the one who unseals both areas for us. Um, so then uh, we're going to go ahead and pick up with the Hashari area. Uh, mostly because uh, since I have so much money at my disposal, one thing I'm going to try to do is I might actually go for a uh, an armor swap uh, while we're in Hishari, or maybe after Hishari, so we'll at least do Ishalar with that, which is for the Oni armor, which also increases dot damage that we do to enemies. Uh, so that being said, if you like the content and you want to see more of the hard mode playthrough through of Sands of Aura, Feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series, and I hope everybody takes care and has a great day. Later.